In this modern era, we have been blazed in many ways from technology, thanks to modern day science that improving every single day, many inventions of technology has been invented to make our life um, a little easier, um, one of which is the creations of computer. Computer have provided us um, convenience and entertainment throughout our life that it has become an essential material to have for all groups of ages. Computer started in the form of a desktop that um, has provided many useful tools and services including document writers, um, farm managers, and internet serving browsers to help in our everyday life. Um, as technology advances, um, so does the inventions that come from it. The existence of desktop led to a new type of um, computers called laptops. Laptops are computers that work just uh, like any other forms of computers, but it is now portable. Laptops have become an essential part in um, important part in, in the everyday lives of a young adult because of the works that are in hand from working adults and students. Um, now that we are living in during a pandemic, online classes and working from home become the new lifestyles that we are contemporary adapt to, which cause computers to be more important for everyday use. Um, so getting a laptop is one thing, but taking care of a laptop requires some time and effort to ensure the durability and life longevity of it. So how do we take care of a laptop? Hello, for starters, let's start with the exterior surface of a laptop. Just like every other things, laptops are also exposed to dust. From that, we have to make sure we do the wiping and dusting of the keyboard. First, prepare a clean and dry cloth or brush and make sure that it is completely dry as moisture of water are able to damage electric appliances which includes laptop. Now, start by making sure the laptop is turned off along with its electric appliances. Next, turn the laptop upside down while it is open and start shaking off the debris. This way, the large pieces of dust and debris are able to remove easily and saves up work of cleaning. Then, start brushing the surface of the laptop by using a soft bristle brush such as the keys of the keyboard. Dust and debris are often found beneath the keys of the keyboard or between the spaces of keys and it is pretty difficult to completely remove it without the tools required for it. A vacuum or a cloth can be alternatives if there is no brush. After the brushing is done, get a slightly damp cloth and wipe the entire keyboard. And that is how you clean a laptop keyboard. Next up is the monitor of the laptop. To begin, make sure the laptop is turned off and the electric appliances along with it are off or unplugged. After the laptop has been switched off while remain open, Start by removing the dust by wiping with a dry microfiber cloth. To clean spots on the surface of the screen, mist an LCD cleaning spray onto a dust-free side of your microfiber cloth. Then, wipe it on the surface of the screen just like how we remove the dust. Make sure to wipe the surface truly but avoid saturations on the edges of the screen. Now that we have showed you how to clean up a laptop, let us give you some ideas on how to keep your laptop safe and clean. Laptops can be very expensive yet fragile which will make us worry from time to time. Because of this, various types of laptop accessories have been made to get rid of our worries. Carrying a laptop around barehanded can be tiring and dangerous. So, we recommend owning a laptop backpack, laptop sleeve, and also laptop covers for keyboard. This is to reduce the dust and debris found on your laptop while in use. Now that we have talked about how to clean up your laptop exterior, let us talk about how to use preventive care. Preventive care on laptop is very important as it preserves its life longevity and its efficiency as well as preventing damage internally and externally. First, insert it carefully. Cords Cables and removable storage device must be inserted carefully into the notebook 
as excessive force may damage the pots. Second, don't put it on soft surface. Avoid using your laptop on soft surfaces such as sofa, bed, carpeting, comforters, or pillows. Vents located on the bottom of your laptop will be blocked and airflow will be reduced causing the laptop to overheat. Number 3. Don't lean on it. When in use, do not lean on top of the laptop or place anything near or on the laptop that could put pressure on the screen. Any pressure applied could possibly push the LCD screen into the keyboard and may eventually damage your laptop screen. Number 4. Don't open beyond its limit. Do not rotate or open the LCD screen beyond its design limit. Portable computers have a design limit as to how far the LCD screen can be rotated open. If the LCD is rotated beyond this limit, damage to the LCD, hinges, or computer will occur. Avoid forcing the LCD screen beyond this limit once resistance is felt. Close the laptop carefully from the center top front edge of the screen and avoid excessive force when closing. Number 5. Avoid sharp objects. Avoid touching the screen using sharp or pointed objects such as knives, scissors, pencils and avoid inserting items into any openings of the laptop that are not supposed to be inserted. Number 6. Avoid food and drinks around it. Avoid having food and drinks near the laptop as it is considered risky. 7. Don't put anything on the keyboard. Clear out and do not place anything on the keyboard before closing the lid such as pens, pencils, folders, papers and so on because it is able to break your LCD screen when closed with an object underneath. Number 8. Don't put anything on top of it. When storing a laptop, do not place other items on top of it that could put pressure on it, such as books. If storing multiple laptops, avoid stacking the laptop on top of each other. Last but not least, do not leave your laptop in a car. Do not leave your laptop in a car or any location that will expose it to extreme temperature or direct sunlight for extended periods of time. Large temperature swings could damage the laptop and its back, also an inviting target for a thief. Top clean from the inside out may be important, but you cannot neglect the task of keeping your computer system to operate and function perfectly as well as maintaining its longevity and efficiency. With the advancement of technology comes the dangers of technology. With the internet, many users are able to access many sites for information, entertainment, and career aspects. But the users are also exposed to the dangerous agents that are able to harm laptops such as spyware, trojans, and viruses. To prevent this danger, it is recommended that an antivirus program is installed and a firewall is in operation. There are many brands of antivirus programs to choose from such as Avira, Kaspersky and Avast which are amongst the top brands. A firewall is usually pre-installed upon purchase and the one from the Microsoft is called the Windows Firewall. Next, always make sure to run a disk defragmentation from time to time. A Mac is known to be able to maintain itself regularly, but other computers require maintenance by manual. By defragmenting your hard disk, your PC will be able to run faster once done on a regular basis. To do this, simply type disk defrag in the search box, select defragmentation and optimize drive. Click the optimize button and once it is done, restart the computer and it is ready to use. The thing to always do is to regularly deculture your computer system. 
We access information every day through the internet and will obtain many files and documents. But in the process, many unwanted files and cache were stuck up in our system without our knowledge. Sometimes, files and documents that we no longer need are often forgotten or just moved to the recycle bin. This causes massive waste of space and affects the performance of the system. To deculture the system is to delete temporary files, files in the recycle bin, and all the junk files. This disculture process requires you to use the disk cleanup program. As for internet browsers, you can delete and clear history and cache through the settings of the browser. One of the easiest ways to conserve the efficiency of our laptop is controlling the usage of the laptop. Start by disabling the programs we do not use while using our computer and reduce the unnecessary background applications of the system. This will ensure the smoothness of the system and prevents any traces of leak. This will also ensure a good battery health as higher system usage means higher energy consumption that may damage the battery. We can also keep our battery well by not overcharging the computer. Not only does higher system usage lead to a higher energy consumption, this will also increase the temperature of the laptop that will cause overheating that damage the laptop. Keeping the built-in cooler fan clean and ensuring there is no over-usage of the system will keep the laptop cool. There is also an external cooler fan that can be used for the same purpose. Doing all this, we can be confident that our laptops will have a more prolonged life to help us get by our daily life. So, laptops have become such an important yet normal device in our daily life that every now and then we tend to not to appreciate them enough. Um, so, this results in us taking them for granted and not taking good care of them enough. Um, we as individuals have been taught to appreciate and protect objects, yet there's still are cases of vandalism and property damage. By sticking to our morals, we may learn to appreciate everything that has been uh, place it in our life before it is too late because of the saying you never you do not know what you got till it is gone